Play. Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order. This story is all mixed up. Hear this page. Well done! You fixed it! That's one! Now it's story time! Percy tried to make friends with a tiny little bird, but scared it away when he whistled too loudly. When Percy came nearer, quietly, the little bird was not afraid. Percy and the little bird became good friends. The End <laughs> Untangle another story. Can you help put the pages of the story in the right order? Can you help put the beginning, middle and end of the story in the right order? This story doesn't sound right. Fixed it. Help untangle the story by putting the beginning, middle and end in the right order. You are really useful. You are a really useful engine. Now it's story time. One day... Thomas and Percy needed to deliver a giant pink balloon to the showground for Mr. Bubbles. On the way there, the wind blew the giant pink balloon away. So Thomas went back to Mr. Bubbles and got a new purple balloon to deliver. Finally, after Thomas and Percy delivered the purple balloon, the giant pink one arrived all on its own. The End Untangle another story. Help untangle the Help untangle the story by putting the beginning, middle and end in the right order. Hear this You are a really useful engine. You fixed it! That's one! Now it's story time! On the way to the children's steam fair, Dash ran out of coal and couldn't go any further. Emily brought Dash some more coal. Later, Emily and Dash arrived at the fair together. The End! Untangle another story. Can you help put the pages of the story in the right order? You fixed it.
That's one. Help untangle the story by putting the beginning, middle, and end in the right order. Hear this page. Well done! You did it! Now it's story time! One day, Thomas had to give a famous composer a tour of the island so that he could hear the sounds of Sodor and use them in his next piece of music. But everywhere that Thomas and the composer went, the peaceful sounds of the birds and the sea were crowded out by noisy engines. Soon it was time to hear the composer's new music at a concert in the town square. No one quite knew what to expect. Thomas and his friends tooted their whistles and blew their horns along with the brass band. They were the sounds of Sodor. The End <sighs> Untangle another story. Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order. This story doesn't sound right. You are really useful. That's one. You did it! Now it's story time. At Brendam Docks on Sodor Surprise Day, Thomas blasted his whistle to surprise Gordon. Thomas's loud whistle startled Cranky, and he dropped a box of fireworks, which exploded. Thomas felt terrible that the party at Callan Castle would now have to be cancelled because there were no fireworks. But Thomas saved the party by thinking of something even better than fireworks. Harold flying by with colourful lights. The End Untangle another story. Can you help put the pages of the story in the proper order? This story is all mixed up. You are a really useful engine. You did it! That's one. That's it. Now it's story time. One day, Sir Topham Hatch's shed was on fire. Fiery Flynn was called to the rescue. Flynn put out the fire with water from his water cannons. Sir Topham Hatt praised Flynn for putting out the fire. The End <sighs> Untangle another story. Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order.
This story doesn't sound right. You fixed it. This story is all mixed up. Well done. That's one. Now it's story time. One morning, James needed to bring Farmer McColl's sheep to the fair to have their picture taken for the paper. James had to go through a large muddy puddle on the way, and was worried that he and the sheep would be too dirty for the photograph. The photographer was delighted to take a picture of sheep right from the field and such a hard-working sheepdog and engine. Their picture. Was on the front page of the Sodor Gazette the very next day. The end. <laughs>